everyone, I'm Therese and today we're going to make our first circuit. Now that you have your starter kit, collect all the materials you need on page 20 in the project book and I will guide you through the circuit. You will need an LED, a 220 ohm resistor and two switches. You will also need the Arduino Uno, the breadboard and some jumper wires. Before making the circuit, there are a few terms that you need to be familiar with. Current, voltage and resistance. On page 22 in the projects book, there is an example that illustrates how these units relate to each other. Be sure to check that out. The breadboard is where you will build your circuits. You will use it together with the jumper wires to connect your components to each other without having to solder. On page 23 in the project book, you will find a description of it. To make it even more clear, I have removed the sticker to show you how it looks on the inside. Here you can see that there are metal connectors that run in different directions. Your wires and components will be connected to each other in different ways depending on where on the breadboard you connect them. All the holes here on the sides are connected to these metal strips. We often use them to connect our components to power and ground. The holes here in the middle are connected to these shorter strips. A good practice is to make sure that your board is not connected to a power source when creating your circuits. The LED has two legs, a short leg and a long leg. The short leg is called cathode and connects to ground. The long leg is called anode and connects to power. If you're having issues with identifying the short leg and the long leg, you can always look for the flat edge. On your LED, there are usually a flat edge on the same side as the short leg. If you flip your switch over, you will have a clearer view of the legs. These two legs facing each other are actually already connected. The same goes with these two. When pressing the button, all of them will be connected. This is a 220 ohm resistor. These can look a bit different depending on your kit. You can have blue or brown backgrounds and four or five bands. The color of the bands will also be different depending on the number of bands. We will talk more about resistors in the next project. And for the jumper wires, they come in different colors, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. They just have a different length. A good practice is that we use the black wire for ground in the book and the red wire for power. In this project, we will only use the computer to power the board. Let's start the project. If you haven't assembled your board to the base yet, you can do that now following the instructions on page 12. So now I'm going to do the first circuit on page 26. I will start with taking a jumper wire and connect it from the 5 volt pin to this line on the breadboard. This will give the entire line power from the 5 volt pin. Then I need the switch. So just make sure that you place the switch correctly according to which leg is connected with which. Then it doesn't really matter where on the breadboard you place it. Now I need to connect the switch together with the 5 volt row. So I'll take the resistor to do that and I use the resistor because I don't want the, the LED to get too much power. Too much power to the LED can damage it. So I put one leg here and the, the other leg inside the line of the power line. So now this side of the switch is connected through the resistor to power. Then I also want the LED. Now I have to remember that the long leg goes to the power side and the short leg goes to the ground side. I will use two different rows. It doesn't really matter where, but make sure that there are two different rows. So I want to connect the long leg to the switch. And with that, I will use a jumper wire. So now this long leg is connected to the switch through the jumper wire and then the resistor and 5 volts. Now I just need to close the circuit and connect the short leg to ground. I'll use 
this jumper wire to connect this other long line to the ground pin. That means that we can use this whole line for ground. Then I will take another jumper wire and connect this row of the short leg of the LED to the line of ground. So now we have ground, the ground line here, and then the circuit goes from here through the LED, through this jumper wire, and if we push the button, this will also be connected through the resistor and then to 5 volt. So when we push the button, the circuit will be closed. So I'll take the USB cable that is connected with one end to my computer and the other end I will connect to my board. The computer will make a sound when attaching to the board. If I press this button, the LED will now turn on since I'm closing the circuit with the switch. Now you can try out the two other circuits in the project book that teaches you about series circuits and parallel circuits. On the last page, you will learn more about Ohm's law. You will also get some tips and tricks on how you can expand this project. My tips is to use an online tool called Tinkercad, where you can simulate simple circuits. There you can test some of the circuits in this book and see what happens, for example, when you use different resistors with LEDs. In the next video, we will upload our first sketch to the board. See you then, bye.